Today is the long-awaited garage declutter. I have had the excuse of 100 degree weather in Texas for months now, which allowed me to put this off, but seemingly overnight it is now 60 degrees. So no more excuses, we are getting this done so that I can actually park a vehicle in here. I'm pretty sure that's what people use garages for, right? Not to store empty boxes and random trash? I don't know, I get confused sometimes, but in all seriousness, this is a decent sized garage, not a three car garage, but it is a narrow two car garage with storage in the back. So I should be able to park at least one car in here. And sorry, hubby, it's gonna be my car. So I'm super motivated to get this done so I can actually park in here again. Most of my declutters are con my method style, which if you are new to my channel, the con my method is my lazier version of the con Mari method where we still pull everything into one place, pile it up into one giant mountain to declutter. But with this garage declutter, that's not really an option because there's way too much stuff and a lot of it is bulky and heavy. So instead, we are working section by section. The first section we are going over is this wall here, which is mostly my stuff and not so bulky. So I will pile everything for this section. There are a lot of random doodads stuff to declutter than organize in this. So we will get right to it. As I'm getting started here, I have to shamelessly plug my channel. Please subscribe for more motherhood, decluttering, cleaning, shop with me and whatever I'm doing in my life content. And go follow me over on Instagram and TikTok just at my Zimmy. As I am pulling items from this area, you might recognize certain items from previous declutters. They've kind of reached their final destination in this garage. And if I haven't used them since storing them in this garage, you know I am decluttering it and getting rid of it. As I'm clearing out clutter from areas, I will be cleaning them as well. There may be a little hand vac action, some sweeping, but most of it is going to be getting out our leaf blower and power blasting away the cobwebs, dust, and leaves out of the garage. Once things are power blasted clean, I'm putting the organizational bins and shelves back in place because I'm running out of room to put all of the clutter, which I still have not taken fully off of this wall. And the paint cans that I'd saved on the bottom shelf are definite keep items, so I felt good putting those back. They're the paint that I know matches our house already, and we need it in case we need touch-ups. And by in case we need touch-ups, I mean like we do need to touch up tons of our walls. I just need to get around to that one of these days. My kids are little graffiti artists all over our home. Let me know in the comments below, what is the craziest thing one of your kids has drawn on your wall or plastered on your wall in some way? For me, I feel like it's not even that crazy because I feel like tons of people probably have had similar situations in their home. But for me, I think the most disturbing thing I've had to clean up is when my twins remove the contents of their diaper and smeared it all over the wall. But you know what? None of us are perfect because look at all the crap I have sitting in this garage right now just off of wall number one. I didn't even realize it. I had smeared my own metaphorical crap all over my garage walls. And decluttering this is going to take a lot longer than it took me to clean off the literal crap off of the walls from my kids so I can't even be mad at them. But enough about crap. Let's get to decluttering. This is why I've been putting this off for so long because this was just one wall of my garage that's all on the floor here and this was the easy wall of my garage that's probably mostly my stuff so I truly do know what to do with it oh, but let's start working through this and I, I need to take this off I'm getting sweaty and if you hear a lot of cars everywhere it's because we live super close to a highway in order to be able to afford the house that we live in we had to make some choices like being backed up to a highway. So it's kind of loud out here. Sorry for the road noise. If you can hear it, if it's picking it up, hopefully it's not. But yes, you hear the road noise. It's because we live right next to a highway. <laughs> we were able to get a lot more house for our money because of that. Anyways, let's start working through this. For sure, keeping helmets. 
safety. Safety is key. This diaper backpack probably looks familiar. And that is because this is the diaper backpack that I said I was decluttering a couple weeks ago in one of my decluttering get it all done videos. And it looked like it was in such good shape that I decided to list it on the Facebook market, hoping I could at least make something from it. But apparently people don't wanna buy used diaper bags, which hindsight 2020 makes total sense. So I truly am just going to donate now. This is going in the donate pile that I am just sticking right next to my car. This is a keep, I'm putting it back in my car. I have a lot of stuff in this pile probably that needs to go into my car. I actually recently got a new car. I know, I'm also really sad that I got rid of my minivan. But yes, I got rid of my minivan. And when I sold that, I had to clear it out. This is one of the things I cleared out, but it needs to go in my new car because I do use it sometimes. It's a tray that you hook onto your steering wheel. So when I'm waiting for my kids in the pickup line or I'm waiting for them in an activity and I need to do some work or like eat a snack, I can hook this onto my steering wheel and I have a perfect little table. So this is for sure going in my car. But yeah, if you're wondering what I got instead of a minivan, I am ended up getting a larger SUV. It just, it feels safer. I wanted four wheel drive specifically because my kids are at an age now where I really want to do more road trips. And most of our family lives in colder weather areas where it obviously snows. So if we're going to be doing these family road trips, I really wanted a four wheel drive car. Trust me, I tried finding a four wheel drive minivan. They don't make them. They're only two wheel drive, so I had to get a larger SUV if I wanted a four wheel drive car that fit my whole family. So that is what we got. I need to install these in my new car. These are our car seat covers from our car seats so that our car seats don't damage the seats. This is for my husband's work. No idea what it is. My husband's stuff pile over yonder these I'm definitely getting rid of we attempted to use it once like completely failed at it they are ear candles I don't even really know what they are or what they're for my husband got them like one of his yogi friends told him about it I guess it's supposed to get earwax out of your ear or something I don't know but obviously we didn't like it that much it got like shoved into the garage I think I found these on top of the refrigerator so they're just they're just going in the trash trash not a vampire hunter so this is just trash these are the little trash bags that, that fit perfectly in our travel potty i line the travel potty so that when it is in use it stays clean it's easy to like just take out the liner bag throw it out so i'm gonna stick these in the little travel potty quick so we don't lose them okay these are donate it's cube storage that i bought for all the random cube storage i have around my house i got it from amazon it's not the right size doesn't fit any cube in my house and unfortunately it's an item that had a no return policy I didn't realize that when I bought it but I feel like a lot of the items that I'm putting over into the donate area it's items we bought couldn't get use out of can't return it at this point and so it's just been sitting in our garage for potentially years like this has been sitting in here for years and at this point like it's just wasted money that's gone down the drain unfortunately for us we've kept it in here in hopes that we'll eventually be able to use it but i need to just admit to myself we're never going to use this it needs to just be donated so we can clear up some space in this garage and hopefully someone will get use out of it after they buy it from the goodwill we probably won't get use out of this ice scraper, windshield scraper here in Texas, but you never know. You never know. There was snowmageddon last year. Could happen again. You know what? This did come in handy last year. So we have used it within the last calendar year. This is our lazy Christmas light hack. We actually are gonna put up more lights on our house this year just because my twins and my youngest are really into it and super excited to put up Christmas decor. But previously, especially when we felt like we were drowning when the twins were really little and Wesley was just a baby. This is what we used for our Christmas lights. It's just one light, you stick it in your yard, plug it in, and it like projects red and green lights all over your house. So it takes two seconds to set up. Your house at least looks Christmassy, but there is very minimal effort put into it. So this is what we did for the last few years. This is the first year though that we're actually putting up some real Christmas lights in addition to this as long as 
because we have it. Let me show you where we're at. This is everything that we're keeping here in this pile that I need to reorganize either on this shelf, in a box somewhere, eventually over there or in my house. So not too much stuff actually to reorganize there. This is the pile of stuff that is donate or I need to put it in and install it properly in my car. So like these coat hangers here are going to be donate. We have our hangers affixed to our wall. We don't need standing coat hangers taking up valuable floor space in our house. Oh, I'm keeping those waters. I need to store those. I got a bunch of donate stuff here that again, I need to actually donate this time. No one wants to buy used diaper bags. And then I have to install the car seat covers in my car, basically get my car set up. I'm just going to shove it in the car right now though, because one thing at a time, I'm Focusing on this garage. Putting all the items that were in the keep pile away on the shelves, and then I'm going to load up all of the donate items in my car and take it to Goodwill. I don't yet have a super set rhyme or reason as to where items are going as I put them away. I'm just hoping that they're in somewhat of the vicinity of where I eventually want them to finally land. And as I work through the garage and really know what is staying and what is going, I'll be able to have more bins and final homes for the things to go. Now I am in my car and I'm organizing all the stuff that's already shoved in my car and pushing it to the back so that all the donate items can be near the back door so that it can easily come out when I drop them off at Goodwill and it doesn't get mixed up with what I actually want to keep. Now we are moving it to our second wall, which is just a lot of bulky stuff that is taking up valuable car parking space. And I'm moving a lot of these bulky items to the first wall that we worked on now that we have so much more storage and I'm shoving them into places that are better than just the random open slot of where my car should go. I'm moving a whole bunch of waters into this black bin over here. A while ago, my husband panic bought a whole bunch of this water and we're just gonna keep it in storage. Just you never know what could happen. It can't hurt to have a few gallons of water hanging out in our garage. Sweeping out the dust from the back corner and then we're gonna continue to work in a clockwise motion through this garage. I'm finally getting some use out of these clear hefty storage bins. As I'm working through everything, I'm just trying to find like items and put them into the clear storage bin so I can eventually put them onto this large wire rack. This first bin right here, just anything sports related is going in here. Then this next storage bin is going to house a whole bunch of my husband's work stuff that he had just shoved onto this middle wire rack here. Then in the spirit of it keeping like items together, I'm moving things like the air blower right next to the bounce castle that we have. There are a couple things on this top shelf that I need to address. The aero bed, we use enough that it should be more easily accessible. Then this fake Yeti cooler, I'm donating. It's one of the items I've been avoiding donating because I spent money on it, but I hate it. My husband put our new wagon stroller up here. I don't know if it's some sick joke because there's absolutely no way I'm going to be able to get it down even with that little ladder thing, it's too heavy for me to have lifted over my head like that. So before he goes out of town tomorrow, he is for sure taking that down for me and putting it in my car because I'm not going five days with him out of town without my wagon stroller available for me and my kids. So I'm going to Dollar Tree right now to figure out organization for this little station right here. And then I'm also going to stop at Goodwill and donate everything in here because my car is already plum full with things to donate. And I need to clear it out because I'm sure I'm gonna have more donate items after I go through this wall. My trip to Dollar Tree was about two seconds long because it seems like they must be clearing out of a lot of their current inventory. Maybe they're switching their inventory slightly since they are going to be raising their prices soon. If you haven't heard, I recently just heard that Dollar Tree is planning on increasing their prices by 25 to 50 
10%. Yes, that's only 25 to 50 cents, but it's still a price increase. I'm not sure if that means they're changing the items also, but their inventory was very much lacking. So then I went to Target so that I could find some storage containers that I felt could work in the garage and I had a lot better luck here. I got four of these medium size storage boxes and then I also got two shoe box size clear storage containers just for little knickknacks. Then I got a few more of my larger hefty storage containers that I already own, but I figured I don't wanna run out and have to come back here again and any surplus I have, I'm sure I'll be able to get good use out of in my attic declutter. Then I took a quick walk through clothing just to take a gander, but I did not let myself buy anything because today is a declutter day. I refuse to buy anything on a declutter day. I made it out only with my organization bins and I already took everything to the Goodwill so that I could put these bins in the trunk of my car. Really, I am trying to buy less and I have been doing a lot better at it. Going through all these declutters has taught me so much and I really think through purchases more now before making them because I don't wanna have to declutter anything. I, I am done buying things just to declutter them years later. Not gonna happen anymore. I'm ashamed that that ever happened, but I'm just proud that I am taking the steps to do better going forward. I'm doing my best to organize this plastic shelf right here. It's a little hard because a majority of the items on this shelf belong to my husband. I don't wanna mess with any of them too much, but the few categories that have like items, like the spray paints and stuff, cleaning supplies, painting supplies, I am putting in the clear storage bins that I just got and placing it on these shelves. Otherwise, I'm just cleaning up the messes that he like half completed cleaning himself and I'm putting things back together and just placing them more neatly on the shelf. Moving to my husband's toolbox area, there's a lot of random stuff all over this. I truly have no idea where most of this stuff goes. I tried putting them in the drawers where I felt like they belonged for him. But again, I don't wanna mess with his stuff too much because then he's gonna be asking me every two seconds where something is and I don't want to have to come out to the garage and like show him every two seconds where something is. So I cleared everything off. I put a lot of the random stuff into a clear box so that he can go through it on his own time. And now I'm wiping these down with a wood cleaner because the, these are topped with real wood. And then I'm placing items back on as organized as possible. Then it's the same deal on toolbox at number two. The last tool bench to clean up is my kids tool bench. My husband made this for my kids because they see him working his construction jobs, working in the garage, and of course they wanna be just like daddy. So this is their tool bench where they can nail in real nails, screw in real screws. Obviously it's all extremely supervised by either me or my husband, but it's their favorite activity to do. Next I wanna make sure we have clear walking space, open, open floor space so I'm reorganizing some of the large things that were just sitting out in the middle of the room. Just overall trying to make less visual clutter throughout the garage at this point. I know in the end there's still going to be a lot of visual clutter in here because there's a lot of stuff I can't get rid of, especially if it belongs to my husband, which is a majority of our garage. But throughout this, I still decluttered a ton. And my ultimate goal with any declutter, cleaning, or organization project in my house is to just make progress. As long as I've made some progress, then progress has been made. And it's easy to regress when you have a whole family working against you making messes. So be super proud anytime you find time to actually get started on a project and make progress. We 
we've made it to the last wall. Now that we've made it through most of the garage and I've organized and put things where they most make sense in the garage thus far, I'm just taking items off of this wall and putting them in their new homes. There were a lot of paint items, plastering items, random nails and screws on this wall. So I just put them where they belong in the toolbox, in the paint bin, wherever. A lot of gardening items as well that go into the gardening bin just below. But when we started this project, the garage, like everything was just thrown in here into random places. And now there are actual bins and organization throughout the garage. It may not be the prettiest, but it at least actually makes sense. And like items are together. So I'm just continuing to put like items together and then doing the final blowout of the garage. Six hours later and this is where we are at. I can actually park a car in here. Let me give you a closer look at everything. We actually have a good amount of storage space available over here. All of our like end of world waters are sitting in there along with some coal and oh yeah, end of world mini waters. I have our puddle jumpers for my kids. This is completely empty, available for use. We have car maintenance and just appliance maintenance for our house hanging out there. This is our trash and recycling bins here. I removed pretty much everything from the top of the fridge aside from a couple fridge pieces that belong on the inside that I want to save. We have our little hanging rack here where we have our helmets, my husband's vest that he wears when he rides his electric scooter around town to make sure no one hits him. I shouldn't be laughing about safety. Safety first for sure, but he looks he look, he's very vibrant as he's riding out with his electric scooter around town. We have our two bikes hanging on the wall here. I wish we could get rid of this large like TV box right now, but just in case we need to transport our TV for whatever reason, we've saved it because it's a thin TV. It bends really easily. So we're saving the box just in case we ever decide to move because we don't feel like dealing with highway noise anymore. Then moving over here, this broken thing, my husband needs to figure out what to do with it. I have all of our storage stuff here that I'm going to eventually use when I make it to the attic. This, this was really hard to organize. I tried to organize it the best I could just using these clear bins, putting like items together, but some of it is really bulky and I didn't want to mess with my husband's stuff too much because I don't want him to ask me every two seconds where something is, even though that's probably gonna happen anyways. Then we have our bulky items, the stroller, which we all know my husband needs to take down because it's ridiculous he even put it up there to begin with. We have our little bouncy castle, all of our sporting goods. I transferred everything to the same clear hefty containers. This is some of my husband's work stuff right here. Our travel potty, arrow bed, our little Jeep slash car things for my kids are parked nicely under here. Then my husband's and my kids' tool areas. It's a little bit more organized. I mean, ultimately a lot of the random doodads just ended up in this clear bin for my husband to go through on his own time and organize. Then we got all of our scooters because we all like to scooter together. All of the like garage cleaning stuff, yard cleaning stuff is hanging there. I was able to take a lot of the random stuff hanging out on these shelves out and organize them in the proper bins over here. All of our gardening stuff is in this box and it is clean. There aren't cobwebs everywhere. There's not dust everywhere. It's just a fully clean garage that I can actually park my car in. Actually, I'm not quite to the point where I can park my car in it. These bikes, have to be hung somewhere else. So a project I am slating for my husband is I wanna be able to hang all of our bikes and scooters on this wall. This, I don't know, eraser board thing that he has hung here needs to go. I've already had a discussion with him about it. He really wants to keep it because it was really expensive. And I'm like, how many times have you used it in the last year? Zero. Okay, it needs to go then so that we can actually use this wall for hanging stuff. And just to prove I can actually park a car in here now, boom. 
I can actually park my car in here now and actually have the garage door closed. Thank you for joining me as I decluttered and organized this garage to the best of my ability on my own without just completely throwing out all my husband's stuff and doing whatever I wanted. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to click on one of my other videos floating over the screen at this point and I will see you in the next video. Bye.